Anal Cancer, Wikipedia Article Audio Anal cancer is a cancer which arises from the anus, the distal opening of the gastrointestinal tract. It is a distinct entity from the more common colorectal cancer. Anal cancer is typically an anal squamous cell carcinoma that arises near the squamocolumnar junction, often linked to human papillomavirus infection. It may be keratinizing or non-keratinizing. Other types of anal cancer are adenocarcinoma, lymphoma, sarcoma, or melanoma. From data collected 2004 to 2010, the relative 5-year survival rate in the United States is 65.5%, though individual rates may vary depending upon the stage of cancer at diagnosis and the response to treatment. Signs and Symptoms Risk Factors Symptoms of anal cancer can include pain or pressure in the anus or rectum, a change in bowel habits, a lump near the anus, rectal bleeding, itching, or discharge. Bleeding may be severe. Most anal cancers are squamous cell carcinomas, that arises near the squamocolumnar junction. It may be keratinizing or non-keratinizing. Other types of anal cancer are adenocarcinoma, lymphoma, sarcoma, or melanoma. Stage 1 Anal Cancer Stage 2 Anal Cancer Pathology Stage 3 Anal Cancer Stage 4 Anal Cancer Prevention A squamous cell carcinoma of the anus visible since many, if not most, anal cancers derive from HPV infections, and since the HPV vaccine before exposure to HPV prevents infection by some strains of the virus and has been shown to reduce the incidence of potentially precancerous lesions, scientists surmise that HPV vaccination may reduce the incidence of anal cancer. On December 22, 2010, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration approved Gardasil vaccine to prevent anal cancer and precancerous lesions in males and females aged 9 to 26 years. The vaccine has been used before to help prevent cervical, vulvar, and vaginal cancer, and associated lesions caused by HPV types 6, 11, 16, and 18 in women. Screening Anal pap smears similar to those used in cervical cancer screening have been studied for early detection of anal cancer in high-risk individuals. In 2011, the HIV clinic implemented a program to enhance access to anal cancer screening for HIV-positive men. Nurse practitioners perform anal Papanikolaou screening and men with abnormal results receive further evaluation with high-resolution anoscopy. The program has helped identify many precancerous growths, allowing them to be safely removed. Treatment Localized disease and the precursor condition, anal intraepithelial neoplasia can be ablated with minimally invasive methods such as infrared photocoagulation. Localized disease Previously, anal cancer was treated with surgery, and in early stage disease, surgery is often curative. The difficulty with surgery has been the necessity of removing the internal and external anal sphincter, with concomitant fecal incontinence. For this reason, many patients with anal cancer have required permanent colostomies. Current gold standard therapy is chemotherapy and radiation treatment to reduce the necessity of debilitating surgery. This combined modality approach has led to the increased preservation of an intact anal sphincter, and therefore improved quality of life after definitive treatment. Survival and cure rates are excellent, and many patients are left with a functional sphincter. 
Some patients have fecal incontinence after combined chemotherapy and radiation. Biopsies to document disease regression after chemotherapy and radiation were commonly advised, but are not as frequent any longer. Current chemotherapy consists of continuous infusion 5 FU over 4 days with bolus mitomycin given concurrently with radiation. 5 FU and cisplatin are recommended for metastatic anal cancer. Metastatic or recurrent disease 10 to 20 percent of patients treated for anal cancer will develop distant metastatic disease following treatment. Metastatic or recurrent anal cancer is difficult to treat, and usually requires chemotherapy. Radiation is also employed to palliate specific locations of disease that may be causing symptoms. Chemotherapy commonly used is similar to other squamous cell epithelial neoplasms, such as platinum analogs, anthracyclines such as doxorubicin, and antimetabolites such as 5-FU and capsidabine. J.D. Hainsworth developed a protocol that includes taxol and carboplatinum along with 5-FU. Median survival rates for patients with distant metastases ranges from 8 to 34 months. The American Cancer Society estimated that in 2014 about 7,060 new cases of anal cancer would be diagnosed in the United States. It is typically found in adults, average age early 60s. In the United States, an estimated 800 to 900 people die of anal cancer annually. Anal cancer accounts for less than 1% of all cancer cases and deaths in the UK. Around 1,200 people were diagnosed with the disease in 2011, and around 310 people died in 2012. Worldwide in 2002 there were an estimated 30,400 new cases of anal cancer with approximately equal fractions in the developing and developed countries. An estimated 90% were attributable to human papillomavirus. Epidemiology U.S. American Cancer Society Detailed Guide, Anal Cancer, Anal Warts, Anal Cancer and Anal Pap Smears, Anal Cancer and HPV in Men Who Have Sex With Men, clinically reviewed anal cancer information for patients, from Cancer Research UK, National Cancer Institute, Anal Cancer, Information for Health Professionals, Cancer.net, Anal Cancer, The HPV and Anal Cancer Foundation, UK, Worldwide.